the flu season is, is now underway. It, it's uh, typically thought to, be, to begin near the end of December or early in, in January. Um, usually the flu season, a typical flu season, will taper off by March or April. The particular seasonal influenza strain, which um, is uh, related to a strain that, that originated, that, that, was, that was first uh, described in Australia, it's thought that this particular strain causes more severe disease in people that are infected. And because we're seeing this strain as a predominant strain circulating this year, it is more likely that we will be seeing and we have seen more severe cases of influenza. It's therefore very important as the season arises for you to get vaccinated and to take measures to prevent you from getting infected by the bug. The disease uh, is caused by a, an RNA virus that causes a respiratory infection, uh, but it also causes a systemic infection, meaning that you can develop whole body symptoms, including fever, chills, uh, whole body aches, uh, and severe fatigue. The individuals most at risk uh, from influenza tend to be the elderly, uh, individuals who are over the age of 50, um, the extremely young, uh, children under the ages of two years, two years, and uh, immunocompromised uh, people. These individuals will develop, have the potential of developing far more severe disease of influenza, including severe pneumonia that may, and they may eventually die of their illness. What we have to worry about though from year to year is the fact that influenza will mutate and especially seasonal influenza and this year uh, the seasonal strain that's circulating appears to be one that's, that's more virulent than ones in previous years. And probably the first thing you should do is, is get the vaccine because the vaccine while not 100% effective will dramatically decrease the chances that you'll become infected by influenza. Studies of the flu vaccine over many years have, have shown that the vaccine is about 70% effective. By administering the, the vaccine the body will mount an antibody response uh, to the virus that will prevent you from developing influenza. It's important to realize that just getting the vaccine won't necessarily prevent you from getting influenza. There are other strains of influenza that are not included in the vaccine uh, that have the potential of giving you the disease. In addition, there are, there are lots of other respiratory viruses that can also cause perhaps not a severe disease influenza, but can also cause an upper respiratory infection. So really to prevent uh, developing an, an uh, respiratory infection such as influenza, it's very, very important that you adopt strict hand washing. And that really uh, means um, washing your hands with soap and water for 15 seconds, at least 15 seconds under running water. Uh, other, other things that, 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 that are important uh, is that if, you're, um, if your child or if you are sick uh, potentially of influenza um, and you're having the sniffles, you're having some uh, maybe some fevers, it's really important that, that you uh, try to not go to school or work because there, there's, a, there's a good possibility that you're contagious and that you may spread the disease to others. You cannot get the flu from the flu shot, and, and this is because the, the, the flu shot that you get consists of killed virus. Um, viruses are killed, rendered essentially inactivated um, by either chemical means or heat means. Uh, what's typically done with the current vaccine is that they're inactivated chemically. But these viruses are dead. Uh, they're killed and they're unable to replicate uh, in the human body. The nasal vaccine consists of attenuated or weakened live virus. Uh, this is a particular uh, influenza virus that has been cold adapted, meaning that it's been adapted to grow in the kind of cooler temperature in the nose. Um, therefore, the, uh, this particular flu mist vaccine consists of virus that will replicate in the nose, which will drive uh, the body to make antibodies, which then leads to the protection. Um, this particular formulation, this cold adapted virus, is unable to replicate in the human body, in the warmer temperature of the human body. And as a result, it is also considered not infectious.